Something I can help you with. Well, I, I came for some ice. Oh, Cyrus closed early tonight. He'll be back in the morning. He always gets up with the sun. Well, I see. Thank you. Margaret, Margaret Anderson, but my friends call me Maggie. Well, thank you, Maggie. Uh, word has it that you're staying up at the Baker Farm. I, yes, I am. I reside on the other side of your property. I guess that makes us neighbors. I, I guess so. Word also has it that that farm was passed down to you by family. Yes, ma'am, that's right. Elijah Baker built that farm. It must make him your great-grandfather. I wouldn't know. I was adopted. Well, I think there's something that you need to know. Elijah Baker was a good man. A church-going man. Had a pretty wife. Well respected in these parts. Maggie, I really should be getting back. I think there's something you ought to know. Okay. Elijah worked over there in Salden County in a machining factory. But the depression came and the plant closed and Elijah, like all others in Carson, was left jobless. Those were hard times, bad times, the kind of times that would try a man. You know what I mean? I suppose. Well, Elijah, he took to farming, but he wasn't very good at it. Couldn't grow a thing. Didn't have the gift. He didn't love the earth. You know what I mean? Not really. Well, sometime during that time, Elijah turned hard, mean. Quit going to church, coming into town. But at the beginning of the next season, his crops came in. No matter how bad the weather or the insects, when nobody else could grow a thing, he always had a crop, a big one. No one knew what to make of it, but there was talk. Well, this is all very interesting. But then one night, his wife, about ready to give birth, ran off in the middle of the night. Some folks say that she ran into the city. No one knew for sure. But the next morning, the sheriff paid Elijah a visit. By the end of the day, both Elijah and the sheriff were dead. Soon after that, the truth came out. You see, in those days there were drifters, young men looking for work, odd jobs and such. Elijah would lure them up to the farm, promise them work, then lay them to rest. You mean, killed them? Rest them as a scarecrow, hung them in the field. Oh my God. God had nothing to do with it. Legend has it, that Elijah went down to the crossroads and came face to face with old Scratch himself. You mean the devil? None other. And they made a pack and sealed it in blood. Folks say that Elijah sowed his field in human blood. That sounds like a bunch of folklore. Something to scare off the local kids. Maybe. Do you know anything about the season and the land? Not really. Well, tomorrow night is the harvest moon, the blood moon. Mountain folks say it's time for the restless spirits to finish their earthly business, to reckon. With all due respect, Maggie. Son, the earth never forgets. All of nature is in a cycle. 
and to the wrong, dead or alive. The son is responsible for his father's sins. Go home, Sean, before this comes full circle. Uh, thank you for the history lesson, Maggie, but I need to get going. Hey, Maggie, how did you know my... Man. Good weed.